Okay, Lydia. <sighs> it's the day. The day has arrived. Today is the day. So what do you think? Do you think she's pregnant? I mean, she doesn't look very big, so I'm doubtful. But also, we put her in with Zorro like so many times. Yeah, so. yeah. That's Zorro, way over there. Is it that one or that one? I can't see from here. <laughs> He's the one on the right. Okay. All right, let's see. Now remember, Hazel is our friend's goat, so she's sort of like a temporary goat here for a little bit. My friend had to move, and so she needed a place for her to stay. So she's gonna stay here for a little while. Hopefully we'll get to see the babies and all of that. And yeah, I'm excited to just kind of see how a different line does with our buck, Zorro. Let's see. <gasps> there we go, there oh we go. Oh my gosh, you can tell right away. Okay, so what we're looking for are empty sacks, but we're also looking to see if we can see a baby inside of it. It's always hard to count at this stage because in the past we've said like, oh, they have four and then they have one. Yeah. <laughs> they have two. Even though when I move it around, I see another one back here, I'm thinking that, well, there's definitely multiples. Yeah. So there's maybe a few in there, but I'm betting on four. Really? Like, ah, come on. So we like to do an ultrasound here at about 45 days, and that's just to confirm if she's pregnant or not. And then we don't like to really count babies until we hit about 60 days. Uh, that way we can actually see babies inside those little black sacks, and we're much better at counting if we wait. <laughs> so we're not gonna we're not gonna say that there's any number of them, but there definitely looks like there could be multiples. Her first time she only had a singleton, a little buckling. So that's that's cool. So I calculated her due date and it would be like beginning of October. Oh, okay, gosh. I was picturing way longer than that for some reason, but. Yeah, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll have Halloween babies. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. Good job, Zorro. You've got one goat pregnant this year. Good job. Now the next one that's gonna get bred is little Tatum over there. I know that looks like Tilly from this far away, but that's actually Tatum. Can you believe it? Let's zoom in so we know for sure. Oh, look at those moon spots. That is Tatum. But she hasn't gone into heat yet, so we're still waiting and watching and hoping we can breed her so that we can have a November delivery. When are you gonna get to get bred, huh? My little grand champion. You're so pretty. I can't wait. <laughs> you ready, Salem? All right, Salem, go out there, protect the goats or something. <laughs> Uh oh, I don't know if Luna loves you yet. Doing good, Tilly? Yeah. Oh, Tilly. Bowling ball, Tilly. She looks a little round, but guys, she's not pregnant. Don't she's worry. She's always like this. <laughs> she does. She just has a large rumen, large stomach. She's not fat. She was born like a bowling ball. She can't help it. <laughs> The trick is to feed these ladies their pellets. You don't walk through here, guys. It's it's too crazy. You get a scoop over here. And then you come over here and you try to go really fast. I spill them all over the I ground. spill them. <laughs> I spilled a bunch. Won't, won't Elsa eat them though? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> See, now it's empty over here. Nobody is over here. Well, if you guys hadn't noticed, it's rather hot today. It's 118, which I'm not gonna complain about. We just have to power through, right? So with the animals, what we do is we like to take a frozen water bottle and put it in their water buckets. Here you go, Winston. <laughs> that was scary. I know. And then they're also usually okay because there's lots of shade <laughs> on our property. The bucks have shade, the babies have shade, and the goats in the pasture have lots of shade. So, believe it or not, they just, they survive. <laughs> they don't really act any different. They just 
eat and sleep and drink water. Hello, hi. <laughs> Feed the babies their breakfast. Hello. Oh, don't try to fight me. Pepper. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hi. Did you come out to say hi again? Come here. Come here, kitty, kitty. Oh, that's a scary train. You're milking Hazel, it looks like you're pulling on her teats really hard, but she just has super. She has really long teats. Yeah, they are. They're like five times They're as long like as Tilly. They're kind of teats. They're really weird. We're gonna dry her up and let her have her whole pregnancy without milking. I think that's a little bit better for her. She doesn't have much anyway. Do ya? You're all dry anyway, huh? <laughs> Willow, look, I got you a treat. Just for you. Except you're picky, huh? <gasps> Yum! Winnie, you get one too. Come here. <laughs> Good job. Oh, look at that. She comes to Lydia. She's oh, <laughs> she doesn't like. Shy. She doesn't like my camera. Yeah. All right, Hazel. You're done. Fern. Uh oh. Willow doesn't want to let Fern in. Come on, Fern, run! Run! <laughs> okay, sorry, Willow. Willow, you don't get milked, remember? Willow, you don't get milked. Now, Fern is just hefty. She's got a lot of, she's like thick, which is actually a trait that you kind of want in the dairy world, but I'm always watching her to see if she's a little too fat, but I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Okay, bye, Fern. Be nice. Well guys, Kevin isn't in this vlog very much because he's out there with our friend Dale trying to reset all of this flagstone around the pond. I don't know why. They're gonna do it on the hottest day of the year. I told them to stop, but they, they keep jumping in the pond and then keep going. But our goal is to hopefully get this whole area done well with flagstone and then hopefully right about where here, we can build a little pizza oven next to the pond. That's kind of our goal this summer to work on. But uh, yeah, so Kevin is definitely <laughs> not gonna be much in the vlog. He is working like crazy. Ooh, he's got a fun job. <laughs> well, exciting news for me. Good news, bad news, I don't know. About 20 years ago, I had LASIK surgery on my eyes and it worked great. It just made my eyes really dry, so that's why they tend to get red. But recently, bummer, I just uh, noticed that my eyes were getting worse. Not like, not like old lady worse, where I can't see reading close, like it was nearsightedness, so like I can't see very good far away. So I went to the optometrist and he got me a prescription for glasses and contacts. So I've been wearing each one, trying to decide if I'm gonna be a contacts person like I was in high school or if I'm gonna be a glasses person. <sighs> and the contacts are super annoying, bug my eyes more than I remember them. And the glasses that I just bought are just, I mean, just a little bit big. <laughs> Just a little bit, I mean, just a tad. So <laughs> I've got to measure my face and pick out some better glasses. But um, yeah, your girl Danelle is uh, a glasses wearer now. Even though I had 20 good years of no contacts or no glasses, oh, it's creeping back. So I think I'm gonna try the contacts for a little bit. <laughs> Are they too big? No! 
they're not. They're they're a little bit too big. Just a little bit. You still look good though. <laughs> you look amazing. Thanks. Okay. That makes me makes me feel good. You look great. <laughs> Try them on. I want to see what you look like. What the? Okay. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, oh you look weird. good. Is that blurry? Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's just look... weird. It's all distorted. Yeah. Do I look great? Yeah, you look really good. I knew it. Okay, we've got a whole spread here, and Ethan is going to show us how to make a homemade crunch wrap supreme. Okay. We'll see if I know how to All right, show us. I need a plate. Oh, okay. Okay, come on. Chef. <laughs> Thin. Come on, Chef Ethan. Okay. We're all watching. You step away. You can do it. Don't do it. And then you go to the <laughs> We're watching. We're all going to watch you and we're going to judge you too. So. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's good. That looks like perfect. It. Already looking yeah. great, Ethan. We have the meat. And then. Do you have to talk or... Italian while you're making this? Yeah. Or... <laughs> it's no. not even Italian food. Then you take some queso. Yum. Some queso and then... Your favorite, Dad. Cheese. Yeah, Kevin hates this stuff, but we love it. It's not... I feel like that's not enough. Yeah. Okay, we'll really <laughs> get this on. Okay, okay, okay. That's really. good. Really. This is what makes it the crunch. The tostada. Oh, this is nice. the crunch of the wrap. Nice. Okay. Isn't there beans in a crunch wrap? No, there's no beans. There's don't you have to put the tomatoes, lettuce, and, or do the sour cream first, right? I don't know. Uh, yes, that would be smart. Because then you can go like this. Okay, spread it out. Like Get some sour cream on there. I really like my sour cream. <laughs> Lydia hates sour cream. <laughs> There's Lydia. like one ingredient that each of us doesn't like. Lydia Not me, I like all of it. Chicken nuggets Ugh. and pizza, so. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, that's good. That's good. Lettuce, okay. Lettuce. And then we do the hard part. Oh. The what? So you take this. And okay. Stick that Aww. in. There. Okay. Because when you fold it over, you want the Oh, it doesn't completely tortilla. cover it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Oh. So here's the part where I don't know what to do. But <laughs> I think you just just go for it and just keep I think as you go around you Oh, that makes sense. It. Yep. Oh, that's smart. Like that. You see? You see? Yes. Wow. That is, that's beautiful, Ethan. There we go. <laughs> okay. Then, then we eat it. If we had more material, we could make this much bigger. Oh, okay. All right. When you're done. You're done. That's done. Okay, it's done. It is a little hot, but it's okay. Oh, are the tomatoes in there? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's see. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Because I bring her in here. I bring her and she's good right here. She likes it. Do you want me to come in? Here, here. Come 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 here. Is this Harley? No, the stripy one's Binks. Hi. You're not Binks. You're not Binks. No, that's Harley. Harley kind of has like a interesting face. <laughs> <laughs> She's sweet. She's not as bite your face off as the other ones. All right, Lydia, you have to decide right now. One, two, three, go. Right now? Go. Which one do you want? Oh. Go. I have to choose Harley. <laughs> she is so sweet. She is really sweet. So Lydia's finally decided that if she's gonna keep one, it's gonna be Harley. Although we still have to make sure we have room for another cat. Right? Oh, whatever. Let's see your little face. <sighs> it's been a hot day today, hasn't it? We already have four. We have little Pepper Pumpkin, my aunt's cat, Chloe, and then our own Pepper and our own uh, Scout. Scout. Mm -hmm. So we have, we have a lot of cats around here, so we'll have to see. But that's her favorite, for those of you that were wondering. The other kitties we're, we've been finding homes for, we have a couple homes already set up for them. So yeah, they'll be going to their new homes soon. I'm gonna go kill this up. Well, hello.
hello. Hi there. Come have a seat, Lydia. Oh. Come get a chewing session. They'll fix your hair and oh. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. So we thought we would share the personalities of these two little girls because they are very different. We've got Daphne here who is very high maintenance, very loud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she screams about everything. You know, if her water isn't filled up to the top or she doesn't have the exact right amount of food, she will definitely be the goat that lets us know. Hey, no hair. Olive, on the other hand, is super sweet, doesn't complain about anything. She could be like tortured and she wouldn't even care. She's so sweet. You are a sweetie, huh? She's so sweet. So they look really similar, but totally different personalities. So it'll be fun to see if they continue that personality when they're older. She's very needy also. Yeah, very needy. Needs attention. Daphne is just... <sighs> you know, technically, Lydia, we almost could let them out. Almost. Could we though? The only thing is that they don't really have a mama to protect them or to mm -hmm. run to if they're getting bullied So they really have to fend for themselves. So I'm not too uh, Anxious to let them out yet I think I'll wait till they're closer to like five to six months old before we let them be with the whole herd Yeah, you like all that water on Lydia's back But it's nice that they have each other. Yep. They'll fend for each other out in the scary pasture Hey, come over here and hang out with us. And Napoleon has gotten a lot more friendly. Why are you coming over to me? He's gonna go over to you, Lydia, even though I put all the work in. Come here, come say hi to me, you know me. I come hang out with you every day. He is so beautiful, such a beautiful gold buck. And he loves to do this headbutting game, even though we know if we teach him it, <laughs> Yeah. He's gonna make him a jerk. Well, we're not gonna be petting him, really. He's gonna be gross and stinky. Yeah. He likes his rump scratched. Try to scratch that. He does? Mm-hmm. Try to reach back and scratch that. <laughs> scared him. So he finally, finally, guys, has gotten more comfortable with us. I know, see? He likes to rub his head against us like all bucks do. So because Napoleon wasn't bottle fed and he didn't get a lot of human interaction, he was super scared when we brought him here. So pretty much a wild little baby goat. And the trick that I found to get him to be friendly with us, because at first he would just run from us all the time and we could never get him to come close to us even if we had food. But the trick is that we separated him from any other goats. So he's not with the bucks right now and he's not with the dolings. He's a little old to be with the dolings anyway. But yeah, we finally realized that if we separated him, he couldn't bond with the other animals as much and so he wanted that interaction. And then then he ate out of our hands. So uh, I hate to do that to goats because goats love to be with other animals, others of their kind. But if you have a really wild animal, it might be a good option to do that because then they'll bomb with you and they'll try to, they'll want to eat treats from you. So that's my tip. So he does pretty good now, except he tries to head, <laughs> but yeah, he does a lot better now and hopefully he will continue to be a good little buck for us. And Napoleon is going to move into the pen with Zorro next week. That's when we're going to let Winston out. He's gonna have free reign of the whole pasture. At that point, Napoleon will be with Zorro and they'll be their, the little buck companions. And then Winston will be um, running with the ladies. All right guys, thanks for joining us. It's uh, a bit hot but we're not going to complain because it just makes us more grateful for 110 degree weather if you want to watch the video where hazel and zorro first met and were bred go ahead and click here